In this video, we're going to be testing out Adobe After Effects on this MacBook M2. It's a MacBook Air M2 model with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Let's see the load time test. And it is pretty fast with in terms of loading. And we have this test project with a lot of already put in projects that are downloaded from Envato as an example and a test for Adobe After Effects. So I've got a couple of different projects that I've already loaded it up on this machine. I'm just excited to explore it and see how it all goes. All right, let's test the first one. So this is more of a text animation. So right now, 50% and half. Right now it's on auto. So that's on 50%, fitting up to 200%. Right now we're on auto, so let's put on full. How does it perform? Slows down a little bit. So after a couple of times of actually playing this animation through, it actually starts to become pretty smooth and the full performance is pretty good, actually. So after a couple of times playing it through, it does a very good job on full, which is very good. All right, now let's go to the second one. So this one is a bit more advanced, but should hopefully do okay. Let's test it out. The best way to succeed, only on Envato. Promo. <laughs> this is not sponsored by Envato at all, by the way. Just a test. I've purchased the membership with my own money, so I'm allowed to use all this stuff anyway. So there we go. So that's on half. Uh, let's put it on full. A little bit of lag. Let's see, let's play it back again. Let's see what happens. All right. Seems to be a little bit less lag, but still a little bit of lag with some of those more heavy animated sequences. For example, as you can see, but it seems to be playing very well. I think it more struggles with one of these animations. Yeah at the end there, but it seems to be okay. All right, let's check out this third animation. Very similar, just another text one. So you know exactly what the performance is gonna be like. Let's try a different animation completely. So that's a pretty basic one. Now let's try one of these logo animations. This is interesting. That did very well, actually. Very, very smooth, so that's in half. So let's play that back one more time. Let's see how it goes. Very cool. Very, very good. So that was a fun animation. Let's see if we can get it on full. How's the performance on full? Nice. All right, so it starts to lag there when it's on full. So it could do a great job when it's on half, but when it gets to full, it really struggles. And it might be because we're using 16 gigabytes of RAM. So let's close up all the other tabs and see if that is affecting the performance. Let's have a look. So now I've closed pretty much all other tabs apart from notes. Let's see if I can quit that. There we go. Let's see. And it's starting to play back a lot smoother as you can see with the timeline. There we go. So because it is 16 gigs of RAM, it seems to do a little bit better when no other tabs are open. That was interesting to see. All right, so now let's try some of these gradients. So the gradients, they are super taxing for the 16 gigs of RAM. As you can see, it is struggling. Right now it's on quarter and 25. Right here, it's on half, and I don't know if it is going to be able to do much performance because there's a lot of advanced stuff going on over here with times. So you've got milliseconds of animations to create these graphics. So, for example, if we go one second and then four, as you can see, it's moving. But it's definitely struggling in terms of playback when it comes to that. So if I put it down a quarter, what will happen? There we go. So it's starting to play a little bit smoother on quarter in terms of the overall performance. Interesting to see. Okay. 
So now we've got this other one, which is more of a text. So it seems to do very well when it comes to logos, text, but more that more advanced animation it's going to struggle with. So if you're using Blender, stuff like that, maybe you need 32 to 64 gigabytes of RAM. Right here, as you can see, it was a bit slow with the full load there. So let's take it down a half. It seems to be a bit smoother now. Let's try it again. There we go. And it seems to be loading up just fine. So you need to give it one or two times to sort of go the whole way through and it should be okay with performance. So now let's try exporting one of these compositions. So we're just going to use standard settings for this render. Let's set this here. Let's just see how it goes with rendering. Okay. So with rendering, it seems pretty okay. Interesting. So it's not giving us a total time. There we go. So we have remaining about one minute with everything. So that's interesting to see how it goes with the render. Let's actually watch back this render and see how this machine actually takes these animations and renders as well, because I'm very, very interested to seeing performance as well. It's very cool to see the overall time it will take to actually export one of these as well. Very cool to see. So right now we've got 15 seconds left. So we'll see how long overall this animation is. And then maybe you can compare performance wise, the time it takes to actually export one of these. All right, perfect. So just exported. Let's have a look. 30 second animation in about, what, a minute? Less than a minute? That isn't actually that bad. Really not that bad. So overall the animation itself was about three seconds. That's pretty good. So it took us about a minute to export all that project all together. So for more advanced ones, it's gonna take a little bit longer. So for something like this, I can imagine it would take a lot longer because it is a bigger project. So I'm very interested. It's actually doing okay with it so far. Very interesting. So you got 900 frames overall. So overall time with this gradient, that's a bit of a heavier project. It will take about five minutes to actually render the whole thing, which is not too bad. Definitely not too bad. So that's an overall performance review of the MacBook M2 with Adobe After Effects using presets from Envato. As an example, if you're doing more heavy animations yourself, then it will probably take a little bit longer. But overall, it's a decent machine for quarter playback to half playback. For full playback, it will take a couple of rounds to sort of get used to it. And these are just for short videos too. So take into consideration this for longer form animations and videos too and effects.